my, my sweet darling son, Antonio Saura, brought up. I didn't actually make him, but he's not my biological son, but he's my son. I brought him up from the time he was a small child, baby. And um, now he's a wonderful producer and he's giving me work. As it should be. I mean, that's very good. <laughs> but not a, lot, not a lot of people would do that. I mean, yes, and he offered me this script, a lovely script, and a lovely director. Very strange movie, very strange story. Um, very, very, uh, it's, it's full of emotions. It's, uh, it's a wonderful movie. Great reception last night. And for you, it's, it's quite a different kind of part. I mean, without giving too much away. Oh, yes. But you're holding back a lot of secrets. And oh, yes. And you're not so charming a lot of the time. Oh, no. In fact, yesterday in, in, the, uh, in, in, the, in the cinema, there's one moment when the son says to his mother, uh, go to hell, or something in more, more graphic it's, than that. It's much ruder in it's Spanish much ruder. than in the translation. Uh, yes, yes. It's pretty rude in the translation, too. Um, the cinema applauded. But many actors and actresses say it's actually more fun to play not an evil person, but a bad character or a character with the darker side. Is that true? It's more fun. I think it's easier. I think I think that that evil is, is is easier to portray because there's so many things that you can do, there's so many ways that you can do it. I think to portray a, a good person is very hard without being boring. After after this one, after La Ciudad Sin Limites, I did another Spanish film with Pedro Almodovar, who is my idol and who I've wanted to work with for ages. And it finally came true. And it's, I, I haven't seen the film, but I, the script is just amazing. And what's, what kind of woman do you? Bring I play to a ballet master, which was which was kind of fun because I started out as wanting to be a ballet dancer, and it was like my first love. And when when I didn't give up ballet, ballet gave me up. And I was really hurt, and, and I couldn't even see a ballet. For 30 years, I'd see one, I'd turn the television off, I couldn't bear it. And suddenly, I had to be a ballet master. And I'd forgotten all the language, uh, the, had to learn it all again. But it was, it was a wonderful, it was great. As the festival comes to its giddy close um, in Berlin, the uh, farewell film also has a certain family connection. Oh, this is going to be such a great moment, because they're showing the great dictator as the the closing film and it's it's incredible because it's it's here i mean the, the bunker hitler's was, is uh, 100 meters away from where the film's going to be shown mm -hmm. and it's the first time in ages that the film is going to be shown on a big screen everyone's really excited and it's so nice also you say usually when one has a film you say oh the film is Oh, yeah, I know it's good. Yes, it's going. Yes, uh, we'll touch wood. Yes, no, this is great. So relaxed about it. This is one of the best films ever made. I mean, it's as today as it was 62 years ago. I think even more so. The message is there. It's the same. It could have been made. It's modern. It's incredible. Great film.